What's going on guys, welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we are going to talk about a smart EQ that might render any other equalizer obsolete. I'm just kidding, this is not going to render any other EQ obsolete, but this will be a good launching pad for anybody who's new at mixing or anybody who's just making beats and they're sending it to their clients and who's not really doing all the mixing themselves, but they still want their production and the beats to sound good. This is definitely going to help them. So what I did is I put a four track loop together here in Logic Pro and I didn't do any kind of mixing. I just use the sounds as they are. And the first thing I have on the channel is Smart EQ. I let the EQ listen to the sound itself and then pretty much do a little bit of tweaking after that. We'll do a little bit of AB bypass and, uh, you know, enabled and disabled and see what it sounds like. And in the end, we'll see whether it's really worth the money. Spoiler alert, I did end up buying it because I liked it and I liked what it did with the production. So let's hop into Logic Pro X. But if you're new, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. We do plugin reviews, music production, gear reviews, and any pretty much anything else you guys ask about in the comments. So stick around. Let's jump into Logic Pro. All right. So we have this project right here. As I promised, this is just loops. And what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to bypass everything that I've done to this except keeping this limiter on the final track. And let's listen to what this loop sounds like. And this is, again, I'm not doing any kind of processing on this. I have an 808, a vocal loop. I have a drum loop and I also have some plucks. So let's play this. All right, so that's pretty much the loop. Again, I've just done some gain staging and used the volume control. But what I'm going to do is add an instance of Smart EQ3. Let me do this first. I'm just going to enable Smart EQ3 and see the kind of magic this plugin does. I'm going to play it once, and then I'm going to enable the first channel here. So let's hear it without and then with. it automatically sounds better instantly. So like I mentioned, I am not using this as literally my Swiss army knife. I'm using this as a tool that's going to help me get started with my mix and then I can do things a little differently afterwards. So let's do this. We're going to add four instances of Smart EQ on all four of these channels. So let's do that. All right. So now I have an instance of Smart EQ. Now this new one is the right here at the bottom that I just set. So let's first look at this loop. So what you're going to do is just hit this and hit play. Now what Smart EQ is going to do is it's going to find the frequency that it thinks that you need to change and you can impact it as much or as little as you want. So let's go flat and then we'll increase and decrease it to see what kind of change it thinks we need to make to our track. All right, so this is what Smart EQ thinks that we need to add some lows and cut pretty much a lot of the mids and fix some frequencies here. Now, let's say you don't want it to impact any of your high end. It's super simple. Just bring it out like this or you kind of want the slope to go. You just go there, hit the scroll and it changes the slope. And so I do like the mud that it's taken out here. Now, you know, this is a good starting point and then you can always add more EQs and do different things. So let's keep it the way it is. And then we are going to go to our 808 track and let's see what that's doing. So let's load up Smart EQ, record. All right, so now it's taking out a lot of the low end from here. But you know what? I'm going to let it do its thing on the low end. And. So it's taking a lot of the frequencies right here, right? And then you can always add and subtract things that you don't need to. And then you want to take up, take down. So this is at 360. Again, my 808 is not really doing much. So I'm glad it took out some frequencies there. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to keep that rumble, so I'm going to keep that in here. And then we are going to do the same thing with the plucks. So let's play the plucks. All right, and then let's also do that with the vocal that we have here. Anything, 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 anything. And then you can also go here and they have a vocal high and a vocal low. So let's go to vocal low right here and then choose that. And then this is the suggested thing that it's asking us to do. Anything. So let's record. Anything, 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 anything. You can already hear that the vocal is a lot more clearer. Now this vocal was already cleaned up on the low end, so I didn't hear anything and it's suggesting us to add some more low end. Now again, always use your ears when you're using plugins like this that are doing things like artificial intelligence and listening and analyzing the signal. But again, anything with anything that so again i like it so now let's do this let's play all four of these without any changes and then i'm going to enable the new changes we just made That is pretty awesome. Now this is a good starting point. Now let me disable these and I'm gonna use the earlier instance that I, that I used. And then as you can see, I made some fine tweaks on the EQ for a lot of these tracks. And then even for this, I brought out some other frequencies. So I'm gonna enable all of those. And then I added a vocal bender, amazing plugin. I'm gonna leave a little card here. If you don't know what that plugin does, it is phenomenal by Waves. That is pretty dope. Now, one of the other cool things about this plugin is you can actually group things. So let me close all these windows and I'm gonna keep one of them open so you can see what this does. Now let's say this is a drum group. I can do join group and I can call this drums. And let's say I go right here and then this is the 808. I can also go and click this 808. Now what's gonna happen is if you go here, now you are gonna see 808 right here. So you can actually bring 808 here and drums here. So let's say you want your 808 and drums to be in the bottom layer, you can bring it in the in the very bottom layer right here and 808 down here as well. Let's do the same thing with our plucks, right? So this is plucks. So we're just gonna name it pluck right here. And then what we're gonna do here is we're also gonna go to the groups right here. Oh, how do I go back? This is already, I already created a group here. So how do I go back there? Right here, oh, it was on the drums one. So now I see a pluck right here. So let's say I want plucks to be the second layer, right? And then I want the vocal to be the very top. So I'm again, just gonna do vox right here. Let's go to the drum layer. We see the vocal, it should pop up right here. So now what it's gonna do is we are gonna have a group effect. So all things are playing with each other and it's gonna try to do something super nice. So let's do learning on the drums and then we're gonna do a group impact and see how that impacts it. Anything, 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 anything. So now it is playing with each other. Let's enhance the effect to see what it's doing. Anything, anything. So it's kind of doing a subtractive EQ on the drums with everything that we want to be in focus. Anything, 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 anything. Cool, so let's now do the same thing with 808 and the drums and see if we can get them to cancel each other out. 
So we are here. So let's go to the drum is going to be here. So let's learn the 808 and see how the 808 and drums can interplay with each other. Anything, anything. That is nice. It was ducking the 808 without me telling it to do so. And let's say you want this to be dynamic. You just go here and you can make it dynamic. So it's kind of working like golf ass in a way. Anything, 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 anything. Now let's do this. Select all of these and disable it and see how it sounds. This plugin is insane. So again, this was Smart EQ3. As you can see that you can do a lot of things with this. First, you slap it on a track, let it learn the track. You can tweak it, then you can group things and you can pretty much do subtractive EQ type of things where the plugin listens to different layers, how you layer them, and pretty much make sure that the sound is cutting through compared to the other tracks or other groups. So, uh, this is definitely going to be helpful when I make beats and when I want to quickly do mix downs and send it to people. Again, Golfaz was definitely my go-to for my mastering chain. I think this is going to be something that's going to be in all of my mix channels, which is like individual tracks on each one of the tracks. If you guys are interested in buying the plugin or trying it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Go and try the plugin. I think they give you a very, very long amount of time to try it out before you need to buy it. If you like it, again, you can use the same link in the description to buy it. I think the sale ends on June 7th. So if you like it, when you use it over the next couple of days, go and buy it. I don't think you're going to go wrong with this. And as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the description below and you know, Keep making that good music.